In this demo, we're going to see how we can create an Arduino-based robotic spider using Simulink. Here's a brief clip of the demo in action to give you an idea of what it does. In terms of software, you're going to need MATLAB, Simulink, Stateflow, and the Simulink support package for Arduino. In terms of hardware, you're going to need an Arduino Mega, 8 servo motors, a 3D printed frame, and all the other hardware components listed on this slide. Here's a picture of my push button setup to give you an idea of what I'm talking about later in the video. Every time you press the left or right push button, the spider will take one step in that direction. If you press the center push button, it will take two steps. The button labeled Enter Actions will cause the spider to begin moving. If you do not already have the Simulink support package for Arduino, you can get to it by going to Add-ons and clicking Get Hardware Support Packages. Here's a circuit schematic for the robotic spider. The power pins of the eight servo motors are all connected to a 5 volt supply, the ground pins are all connected to ground, and the signal pins are connected to the PWM pins shown in the diagram. There are four push buttons that are connected to digital input pins on the Mega with 1K pull down resistors. One thing to note is that the servos may draw a significant amount of current, so an external 5 volt supply may help prevent any possible power issues. Here is the Simulink model for our robotic spider. As you can see, all of the blocks seen in this level of the model correspond to the inputs and outputs of the spider's control system. Additionally, there are two stateful charts, one to control the user input and one to control the spider's movement. So what is Stateflow? Stateflow is an environment within Simulink that helps us model and simulate decision-based logic systems. Let's see what's going on in the input logic chart. It's going to start off in a setup state where it creates the variables needed to program the spider's movement pattern. If the spider is not currently moving, the chart will wait for the user to press one of the three movement buttons, left, straight, and right. Once a button is pressed, the movement associated with that button is going to be logged in the route vector. After it is logged, the chart will check to see if the 10 command limit has been reached or if the enter button has been pressed. If either of these conditions are true, the commands that the user selected will be sent to the movement logic stateful chart. The enter button can be used if you don't want to perform 10 movements. Now let's check out the movement logic chart. It's also going to start in some setup states that will get the robot set up to walk. After two seconds, the robot will begin to go through the commands vector to determine how to move the robot. During this process, the red LED will be illuminated. If they press the left push button, it'll move to the left. If they chose the middle push button, it'll go straight. And if they press the right button, it'll go to the right. Once the robot performs all of the movements, the red LED will turn off and this will allow the user to begin entering commands again. Now that we have a better idea of how the model works, Let's run this demo in external mode. In external mode, Simulink is going to generate code to run on the Arduino. However, we will be able to monitor our system real time. To run the model in external mode, we are going to select external mode up at the top and then press the green play button. Now that we are in external mode, we can see that some of the states in the state flow chart are highlighted. This is one of the cool features of state flow. Whenever you run a model in external mode, the current state of the stateful chart will be highlighted and you can watch the system transition throughout its states. This can be a very powerful debugging tool. Once we know our model works in external mode, we can deploy our demo to hardware by pressing the Deploy to Hardware button. What this is going to do is Simulink is going to generate code to be run on the Arduino just as it did in external mode. However, you will not need to be connected to your computer to run the demo. With the right power supply, you can have your very own robotic spider. This is how you can use the Simulink support package for Arduino to create a robotic spider. Thanks for watching.